Hello, I'm Short Steps, and today I'm going to show you the customization options there are for your rider and your bikes that you have in Trials Fusion. Um, it just came out today, so I'm going to show you everything that there is. Um, first off, to say there ain't, there really isn't shit to customize. They really like dumbed it down from Trials Evolution. Like you really can't, you know, do much. This first bike is a default bike. Um, Pretty much all you can do to a bike is a body kit. Pretty much a body kit and wheels. And this one doesn't have one. You don't ever use it. That's not a big deal. Um, this one I bought this body kit. Um, I don't know how much it was. Twenty thousand, ten thousand. But I mean, you can't even adjust the color like a secondary color. Like you can, uh, you can pick the color. Like you can go to color here and change the fairings. Whatever the hell fairings is, I don't even know what the hell fairings mean. I mean, I ride dirt bikes and I don't even know what the fuck that means. But you can only choose one color. It's really dumb. I don't quite get that, but that's all you can do. And then you can change the wheel color as well. Um, and then for the wheels, um, I mean, they have what one? The standard two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight options for rims. I don't know if there are that many in Trials Evolution, but I mean, at least in Trials Evolution, you could you know paint like each certain part of the bike a different color and stuff like that. This one you can't. Level you gotta reach level ninety to unlock these little three spokes stuff. I'm I think I'm level fifty nine, so that's kinda why. But for me I have those rims. And it's pretty much the same for each one. This is the body kit I bought for mine. Um the default is this one. And I bought the twenty thousand dollar one. And same for that stuff. Uh the other bike that they have, they have this for the freestyle motocross bike. They have the quad, which hardly ever use. And a BMX bike, which I have yet to use either. But that's about it for the bikes. I mean, there, I told you there's not much customization to it. Um, for the rider, um, still really not too much to customize either. They kind of, they really, I don't know, dumbed it down. It's kind of stupid how much kind of shit they took out on this. Um, but th that's what my guy looks like. He kind of looks funny, but of course. Who wouldn't look funny wearing shorts and riding a dirt bike? But, I mean, I wear shorts. I haven't worn pants since 8th grade. But, um, this is the guy you start off with. You start off with these three things. And then each one has, like, each character that you see here, they have of these three, or the, what, two, four, six guys. Um, I think almost each of them has two other sets of outfits that they can have and you have to buy each one individually each little set like a helmet um the shirt and then the pants and boots are together but like for the biotech like you can buy the helmet you can buy the chest and then you can buy the legs um this dashing hero one i think you have to unlock it um step into the light whatever that means i know it was on the main menu in the bottom right corner and i remember i pressed it before and tried registering it or for something and all it did for me was say registering so I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, outsider, I mean, see what I mean? You gotta reach level 80 to unlock these, but that's what some of this stuff looks like. Pants. Some stuff is cheaper, some stuff is more expensive. Um, you unlock them, you know, the more you progress certain, you know, however many medals you get, or if you beat like a certain track or something like that, I'm sure that's how you get some of it. Or however you, how you rank up and stuff. You reach level 50, you might unlock some more stuff. I'm sure, stuff like that. Enforcer, you got some little fucking retarded goddamn helmet. But yeah, that's pretty much all it is. And I mean, you can only change the color of one thing or change the color. What the fuck am I trying to say here? You can only have one color for um, your outfit. Well, not for. You can have one color for each certain part. Like, I can make my chest red and my pants blue, but you can't have like. Like you see on my shorts there, I can't have like orange shorts and a black stripe. It has to be white stripes there because it, it's only one color. You can't choose secondary colors. And then here's a normal bike riding guy, except his helmet looks stupid as fuck. But I guess it's futurized, future, futurized, future wise, whatever the fuck you want to say. I don't even know. Shit just pissed me off. There's no customization shit really to this game. And then this excavator guy. Um, that's the helmet I bought. Kind of looks stupid now that I look at it, but that's those. 
There's not too much to it. You can't change colors too much. And then the squirrel head, you gotta do that shit on you play, whatever that really means. I don't really know. And then that one as well, the clown head. Oops. But that's that's honestly pretty much all you can do for customization in this game. They really kind of took a set, step back on customization for this stuff. So I think that is about it. Um, if you like this video, you like seeing you know the different customization options. There are not very many, but there are some. But if you like this video, um, just you know leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I'll come out with a bunch more uh, trials fusion videos I always want to say evolution I'm so used to it even though I haven't made a trials evolution video in forever trials fusion video um I come out with a bunch of achievement guides tutorials you know how to beat certain maps you know I was the one that did I don't know if anyone's ever seen it but I did a inferno 3 tutorial in trials evolution so that was pretty cool um but yeah I come out with tutorials and achievement guides and a bunch of awesome videos so subscribe if you want and I will see you next time See ya.